Hey there. Many of you have probably used hinges like this to make solar panels back tightly. But I was looking at this and thinking, hold up, you still have a lot of space here between the panels. So what if you just took this panel and like slid a copy of it here? You could in theory pack the panels twice as densely. So that's what I did. I have the same design here and the same one mirrored on the other side and I use pistons to separate them and slide them together. This gives you effectively double the density. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten panels here packed into a space a bit over five blocks tall. I also tried the same design, but I offset every other of the solar panels so that they mesh together differently. But this one does have a bit more clang, and I have to use way more force on the pistons to get it slide together. It also shakes more when it's closed. This design scales pretty well. Here I have some of these solar panel packing units installed side by side. I quite like this design. Here I have a similar design with the units packed side by side, but for some reason this design has difficulties working correctly. It tends to get stuck, especially when closing. Of course now it works when I try to show that it doesn't work. Reverse demo effect. The difference here is that I have the anchor point in the middle of the panels and they have pistons to both sides. So both of the edges extend away from the middle. This is the final design I made. It uses slightly different style of packing. I did this because I wanted to have something that is square in shape. This uh, design requires much more timers though to make it work. The clang is not too bad. I think this design with the alternating panel placement has the worst clang or phantom forces. It looks like even that isn't too bad. I'll upload a blueprint for this uh, single unit to the workshop, so you can scale it up how you wish and also for this design. Since it uses a slightly different packing mechanism, I also improved this arrow key detection unit a bit, and I'm gonna publish that blueprint on the workshop as well. It's now symmetric in design, and much smaller than the one in the previous video I showed. So as you press forwards and backwards, the wheels there move the piece of armor back and forth and trigger the sensors. And on the front here you have the wheel that turns as you use the side to side arrow keys. So it works in the following way. You have four sensors for each of the directions. 
and the left and right only control one timer block each and the forward and reverse sensors have timer blocks that trigger whenever the armor piece moves into the sensor range and ones that trigger when it leaves the sensor range. If your build requires them you could also add a second timer blocks for the left and right actions but I didn't need them at least. So whatever you want the arrow keys to do you'll just add them to the timer block actions here. So then whenever this uh, left timer block is triggered by the left sensor. All the actions in the timer block are executed. I couldn't quite fit this into a 3x3 three three area. Since the hinges on the bottom poke out a little bit. These are the hinges that connect to the uh, armor piece here. To prevent it from despawning. Since it wouldn't have any power. Also now this uh, red pillar here is completely locked in place with armor pieces here on the top so it can't fall out. I also removed the bottom wheels it was resting on since there was no need for them. It works just fine with these side wheels. Thanks for watching. Hope you found something to be interesting. See you next time. Bye bye.